So today, let me, I am, I am glad to introduce the Cubin project to everyone. And, uh, and uh, let's, let's get start. Uh, the first page is about, uh, what is, what is Cubin? Cubin is an, is an operator that manages, uh, is an operator which manages Kubernetes cluster lifecycle uh, based on Kubespray. And uh, the goal of Kubin is to uh, simplify the deployment and uh, management of Kubernetes cluster in a cloud native way. And uh, there are four reasons to there are four reasons about why choose Kubin. The first point is that uh, lifecycle management based on Kubespray. Uh, Kubin inherits the robust lifecycle management capability of Kubespray and uh, all the functionality of, Q of Kubespray can work normally in Kubin. And uh, the second point is declarative API. The Kubin operator, the Kubin operator provides a convenient, convenient way to use the Ansible playbook in arranging Kubespray, not in Imperative, imper, imperative command line usage. The demo time will show you the usage of this API. And uh, the next point is LGAP cluster deployment. Kubin uh, provides, Kubin supports cluster deployment in uh, offline scenarios, even without an uh, inter internet connection. Kubin prepares three types of release assets, uh, which, which are built in the GitHub, GitHub action. And uh, these assets include binary files and the images and the OS packages. These assets will be explained in the, in the following demo time. And uh, the last point is customization and uh, extension. Kubin provides the capability to customize and extend the management operation, such as uh, dynamic, such as dynamic uh, playbook, and uh, uh, pre, uh, and uh, and the pre hook or post hook. The pre hook or post hook is is that we can do some work before or after the main action automatically, and uh, and this page is talk about comparison. First, uh, Kubin versus Kubespray. Kubespray provides a set a set of Ansible rules for managing cluster lifecycle, running cluster management operation from the command line. The usage of that is imper imper imperative. And uh, Kubin's functionality is based on Kubespray. The Kubespray project builds. The Kubespray project builds Kubespray. The Kubin project builds Kubespray as a container image and uh, and deploys operator to the management cluster, which is uh, is an existing cluster and provides a, a cluster lifecycle management capability in the form of Kubernetes customer resource. And uh, we just uh, write down what you, and uh, just uh, write down what, what we want to do in the uh, cluster operation CR. And uh, the Kube operator, the Kubeam operator will start a job in, to do that work according to the uh, cluster operation in the background. And the, the cluster cluster operation will be explained in the in the following art, architect art, architect architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, the second point is Kubin versus cluster API. A uh, cluster API provides a comprehensive range of customizable resources and uh, supports various infrastructure providers. Uh, with cluster API, we can it is possible to define and manage infrastructure resource like virtual machine, networking, and storage. Uh, additionally, 
Cluster API also provides robust lifecycle management capabilities of Kuben, of Kubernetes cluster. Uh, in comparison, Kubin is is more 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 simple. It's just a focus on a cluster cluster lifecycle itself, not on managing the infrastructure resource. The next page is architecture, and uh, and uh, let's look at how Kubin creates a new cluster. And uh, at first, there are there are two config map, and the first config map is uh, is Ansible inventory config map, and it's called hosts config. And the second config map is kubespray related variables. It's called vars config. And uh, this is about one secret. If we want to go to manage cluster lifecycle without password. And we need to create a secret. And this secret contains the, the SSH pro private key of this machine, this remove node. <clears throat> and uh, we apply this five resource. The five resource include as a secret config map and the cluster CR and the cluster operation CR. And then the operator receives, and, uh, and then the operator receives cluster operation and, uh, and uh, find the matching cluster CR and uh, it will make new copy of this origin config map and the secrets. Uh, for the cluster operation from the from the from the cluster CR, the operator will create a Kube spread job based on cluster operation and uh, mountain this copy of this data and mountain this copy data copy the data into the job, and when this job is 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 finished, the cluster is created. And at last, finally, the the operator will update will update the states of cluster states of cluster and the states of uh, cluster operation with this states of this job. And this page is talk about a uh, Linux distribution to support. <laughs> Uh, Kubin supports deployment of uh, on many major Linux distribution and supports uh, AMD sixty five and ARM sixty five. Our team, our team, uh, submit lots of pull requests into Kubespray to support support such as Kaylin and US and Open EULA. and. Uh, in the in the foundation to support this Linux system in the foundation and uh, fix some bugs of Kubespray. Uh, here here is demo time and uh, click this uh Kilo Coda to perform to follow the tutorial to use the Kubin and uh, today in order to save time and. Uh, here is here is a video demo in advance. Let's took a, let's let's uh, take a look at this demo. <clears throat> uh, first, we need to uh, install kind and the uh, Postman. The Kubin operator running in the existing Kubernetes cluster. Uh, install install Kubin. Uh, we need to install Kubin by home charts. Uh, 
this step is install install Qubit by home. And uh, And uh, we get a pause to check the. And we get a pause to check the the operator states. The state the operator is running, and uh, let's create uh, some resource. To let's create this uh, Kubin CR file. Uh, here we can we can see this uh, this config map. In, this config map is Ansible inventory config map. It include uh, IP address and uh, IP address and uh, and the uh, username and the password is not included in this config map. So uh, we need to create SSH uh, secret. Here is a, a triple spread related variables. It include, include the setting of, of, of Kubernetes cluster, uh, such as CMI and, uh, and the container runtime. And uh, here, here is a cluster CR the, and the cluster operation CR. Uh, this is secret. This is the SSH secret. And uh, and then we apply uh, this this Kubin CR file to create some resource. And then we can we can see a uh, Kubin spread Kubin spread job is created according to the class operation. Uh, let's wait uh, for a second. Okay. This we can see the output of the triple spread job. Uh, triple spread job. This log, log output, and uh, let's go back. Uh, for click this link for more for more tutorial and uh, uh, the cluster cluster the cluster CR use this config map uh, based on the file based on the file the hosts host conf, host host conf RGF and uh, and uh, the and the virus conf RGF and the, the cluster operation CR belongs to the cluster CR based on the based on based on the failed cluster in its spec and uh, the cluster the cluster failed in cluster operation equals the cluster the name of cluster. And we apply this source to, uh, and we apply this resource to create the triple spread job.
And uh, if we want in, if we want in, want want if we want to add uh, add work nodes, and we need to insert the host the host the new host information into the host inventory config map. Here here is the new new host information, and then we create the uh, cluster operation uh, with with playbook scale. And uh, extra arcs. The extra arcs indicates uh, which node, which node to be added. And uh, if we want to remove work nodes, we we just we need to keep the node information. We need to keep the node information still existing in the in the host inventory config map, and uh, create the uh, and create cluster operation. Uh, with playbook, a uh, remove node and extra arcs. The extra arcs indicates uh, which node to be removed. Uh, here is uh, how to upgrade cluster. If we want to upgrade class, upgrade cluster, uh, uh, cluster, cluster vision, and uh, we need to modify the we need to modify the cube spread related. Uh, Variables config map and set this and set this uh cube vision a new value and then create and then we create a new cluster operation with playbook upgrade cluster and uh, let's talk about how to reset cluster the cubin uninstall the cluster by reset playbook and uh, this is this this playbook will remove all the binary files and the software uh, related to related to to kubernetes including all ports and the uh, container runtime software it's just just to use use it's just you based on reset playbook And uh, let's talk about a customized action. Uh, with with pre with with uh, pre hook pre hook and the post hook, we we can add commanders and uh, we can add commanders and the playbooks, uh, to be executed before the main action. Uh, for example, we can output we can output the states of new cluster after after the creation of this new cluster. Uh, for example, uh, we can we can output we can output uh, the 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 states of new cl new cluster by the cluster info playbook in the post hook. And uh, we can customize the playbook by writing it. We can customize the playbook by writing it into a new config map. This one, new config map, and uh, using it in the cluster operation based on the based on the field, uh, action source RGF, and uh, and action and action field. The action field is the name. The action field is the name of the key in the is a is a name of the key in the uh customized config map. They are they are equal. They are uh, they are the same value. And here is L gap deployment. Mm. Uh, in the in the finance industry. The managing cluster in the managing clusters, uh, in the LGAP environment is necessary. Uh, Kubin provides a convenient solution. <clears throat> Kubin prepares prepares, uh, three type of three types, of release assets. And uh, these assets include files, and uh, images, images and uh, OS packages. 
and the, the OS, the the files and the images are generated by the CubeSpray LGAP mechanism. And the OS packages is OS packages is generated by running Dockfile in the in the GitHub action. And uh, we just we just need to import these assets into uh into uh Docker registry and the main IO service and uh, all or other HTTP uh service and uh, specify the and specify their access address of resource into kubespread related variables. We need to we need to uh specify this access address in the uh, in the kubespread spread related variables here. And then we can deploy then completely offline. So let's talk about roadmap. A uh, good map uh, optimize a uh, Kubin documentation website and uh, support and support for deployment in more uh, Linux system offline scenarios and uh, provide a convenient way to generate customized uh, customized resource template and uh, and the and optimize the usage of resource such as uh, images and the binaries related to offline scenarios. Uh, click this this link for more information. Uh, let's talk about adoption. Uh, currently, Kubin is used in the Dock Cloud Enterprise products, and uh, we can click this uh, link for more information. Uh, here is uh, GitHub, uh, GitHub project insights, and uh, our our member. Uh, here are the project members, and the members also participate participate in other famous project, uh, such as Kubernetes and uh, such as Kubernetes or Kub uh, Kubernetes SIG, and uh, mostly achieve the members or maintainer of this project. Uh, that's finished. Uh, any question? Thank you for the presentation, Hang. Um, so a couple of questions on top of my head. Uh, one being, uh, this looks like uh, there are potential overlapping areas over here with say something like cluster API, and you also mentioned about the comparison with cluster API. Uh, do you see a possible collaboration with a cluster API and Kubin uh, from the cluster uh, lifecycle management perspective? And uh, uh, you, you mean, uh, you mean just uh, Kubin, it it is possible Kubin, uh, walk away walk away uh cluster API, in the future. So, so you mean of uh, Kubin will adopt cluster API in the future? Is that right? I'm sorry, I didn't get the last. Uh, so. I I don't get, I I not uh, on. Uh, Maybe. Cool. I'll, I'll, you want me to rephrase my question? Is it? I'll... Uh, uh, could you repeat your question? Sure. Uh, uh, so it feels like there is overlapping area with, say, something like uh, cluster API with Kubean in terms of uh, lifecycle management of a cluster. Uh, do you see a potential? Area of collaboration between Kubin and Cluster API project. Uh, 
呃 ，for for now it is we we don't have the 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 task to uh adopt adoption cluster API to our uh Kubin project, and uh, today uh nowadays we we just uh. Help help Kube Spray uh, develop better and uh, work well on more OS system Linux system. Uh, may I to uh, uh give my two cents? Um, uh, this is Peter, uh, another Cooper Bean uh, maintainer, and I think uh this question will uh, something like the difference between um a uh, Kube Spray. And cluster API, they are uh, serving the different uh, scenario or different purpose, right? Uh, cluster API will uh, take care about the uh, infrastructure, like the uh, OS Bootstrap, and uh, uh, Kube, Kube Spray um, is more for the um, the focus on the um kubernetes uh provisioning uh, and as the uh, kubernetes um add-on or the applications uh um so they they are they are very similar but for different purpose so um Kubin, uh, just to edit the api system which the um the Kubo Spray community, they um they don't think it's their scope, right? So Kubo can help them to build the API system. Uh, but um I think um Kubo, uh, class API uh, they are doing very well to having their own API system. So um Kubo for now uh we are more uh, co work with Kubo Spray. So, no plan to uh, collaborate with the uh, class API so far. Sounds good. Thanks for that, Peter. Uh, and a quick uh, follow up around um, Have you all considered joining the Kubernetes 6 organization instead of the sandbox, so, uh, like where the Cube Spray project is also hosted? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, uh, we have some uh, Kubernetes uh, members. Uh, Ashal, can you share your um, discussion with the Kubernetes owners? What's their source? Zhang Xiao. Hello, uh, I'm Xiao Zhang from Kubernetes community. Um, this question. Um, last month we have discussed with the Kuber Bean maintainer and um, to uh, propose uh, which uh, Kubernetes subjects or sandbox we which one is preferred um, to us. Maybe the sandbox is is another choice choice for us um, because the Kuber spray. Uh, focus the bootstrap Kubernetes, but uh, have haven't a declare API to uh, use operator to bootstrap, and they, they don't think it's a uh, um, put Kubernetes in Kubernetes sex is the preferred choice choice and. Um, they they think Kubernetes bridge should focus they they prefer to do but the API is another way to um to create and update upgrade Kubernetes and they they su suggest we should propose Kubernetes in sandbox project. And uh, uh, we can uh, put forward an independent way. Uh, 
Halo. Yep. Uh, so the seek uh, advice is that we apply to the sandbox. Uh, and um, we also turn to another group spread uh, owner. Uh, the, uh, his suggestion is uh, we can uh, apply to the sensitive sandbox uh, at this moment for better solution. <laughs> Yep, thanks for that. Uh, another question I had in mind was, uh, can can you uh, shed some light on what is the adoption rate of Kubernetes release with QBeam? Like I've, I've seen like the latest release of QBeam is compliant with 1.27 Kubernetes. So uh, how are y'all, What is at what cadence are y'all adopting say the latest Kubernetes minor? Hi, Jiang Hong. Oh. We we have a pre presentation to show um who use Kubernetes. Can you share the PowerPoint? Um. Uh, I think uh, Cooper Bean will release uh, regularly. Uh, each time it will synchronize uh, with the upstream uh, Cooper Spray uh, latest release. So uh, Cooper Spray, it will um, valid, verify and uh, upgrade its uh, Kubernetes, its embedded Kubernetes version and uh, the um, the ecosystem like the etcd calico etc so um this this is the way and the cadence we synchronize with the upstream uh, am i right Jiang Hang? uh right uh kubin keep keep kubin needs needs keep keep upgrade keep up with the the cube spray and uh, the cube kubernetes is enjoy a new feature and avoid some bugs. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for that. Uh, are there any other questions? Um, we um for several months ago, I have uh sent a um a, a short introduce a uh, video to the uh, to the Slack channel, and um maybe somebody have paid attention to it and maybe not. So uh, here is why we uh, try to allocate some time to have a deeper introduction here for today, and uh as. Jiang Han just mentioned we have a killer code uh, online uh, travel, so you can try it try uh, on the on the online and uh, share your thoughts on the on the Slack channel or the GitHub. Sounds good. Uh, I'm just checking again if there are any other questions for the Cubean team. Looks like we're good. We can follow up on Slack. Uh, thank you very much, Hang, Peter, uh, and Shao for the presentation. Also, Hang, if you can add the link to the presentation deck to the agenda doc, that would be great. Uh, and if there are any other follow-ups, we can take them on Slack. Uh, thank you for joining people.
we're giving almost like 20 minutes back to everyone. Thank you for joining. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Good evening. Bye. Hey, Jambo, hello.